India is taking some unique strategies to try and stop the spread of the coronavirus, the government has forced 10 tourists from Israel, Mexico, Australia, and Austria who violated social distancing rules to write, I did not follow the rules of lockdown, so I am so sorry, 500 times. Yeah, 500 times, they have to write it out, like Bart Simpson. And in a less dramatic move, one Indian man built a vehicle that looks like the virus to warn people to stay indoors. So I guess if you ever wondered what the opposite of an ice cream truck would be, this is it. And I know this seems ridiculous, but I think a Corona car driving around is a great idea. Yeah, because it makes it seem physical. Right now, people are like, eh, is Corona real? And if you see the car, you'll be like, yo, Corona's in town. It'll make people take it seriously. In fact, after this car is done in India, that car needs to drive around 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Yeah, then Trump will start to take it seriously. He'll be looking out the window like, oh my God, the coronavirus, it found me. It knows I was talking shit about. I'm sorry, Corona, you're not like the flu at all. Well, a village in Indonesia is using an unusual method to try and curb the spread of the coronavirus. Take a look at this. Local volunteers dressing up as ghosts to patrol their neighbourhood streets, trying to spook residents into respecting stay-at-home orders. Officials say the plan originally backfired when people ventured out to take photos of the ghosts for social media. OK, I don't know what's crazier here. The fact that this village tried to use ghosts to scare people back into their houses, or the fact that the people heard that there were ghosts outside and then tried to get pictures for social media? Like, what have we become? What has social media made us, huh? There's a ghost and you're like, I'm going outside? I'm willing to bet that if the exorcist head twisting thing happened today, instead of being scared, people in the room would be like, oh my God, can you do that again? That would make an amazing TikTok. Hey, hey, hey. One family who's stuck in the house in North Carolina, they've just decided to lean into the craziness by starting what they call the Quarantine Olympics. Yeah, and this involves made up events like uh, blindfolded toilet paper dodgeball and straw drinking water races. And they've kicked off a brand new viral trend. <laughs> What's up? Oh, Josh. <laughs> okay, people, I am officially a fan of the quarantine Olympics. And if you ask me, these sports are just as legitimate as the real Olympic sports. Because if we're honest, all sports were made because people were just bored and looking for stuff to do. What is basketball? Basketball is just throwing a circle into a bucket. Yeah, I said it, LeBron James. What are you gonna do, come find me? You can't leave your house. Please don't leave your house, LeBron, I'm just joking. So, I mean, if you think about it, drinking water out of a straw quickly while another thing is pouring the water, that'll probably be its own league in 50 years, right? And Aunt Becky's kids are gonna pretend that they were stars on the high school toilet paper dodgeball team. It's gonna be a thing. One theory that actually makes the most sense, and it was this. There's a conspiracy theory sweeping the globe that coronavirus is caused by 5G technology. The theory is that 5G damages the human immune system. All of us should know what's taking place right under our noses. What 5G actually does, it absorbs oxygen, and that's really important to know. 5G gets switched on, people drop like flies, and all of a sudden, you've got the excuse, because, well, there's a virus going on. Some people in the UK bought into it so much, they started lighting cell phone towers on fire. 5G burning. Burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it. Yes! Burn those cell phone towers down! We gotta put an end to coronavirus and all group chats. I don't know who any of you people are, but I did not ask to be a part of this group. 